What's up Star Wars fans and collectors and welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series action figure review. This time we have number 73. It is L337. I like that they got the, uh, the L337 in the 73 box. Um, <laughs> I'm sure it would have been number 37 they would have done that too. But I wonder if that was on intentional when it come around to putting this figure in a in a box. I wonder if that was an intentional choice. Yeah, L3 on the front there. Camera, that's fine. Right up on the back there. L337, a self-made droid built from astromech and protocol port parts. L337 is an enlightened navigator who cares deeply about droid rights. Um, yeah, it's, it looks like a reasonably good figure. Um, I did have some trouble standing it, standing her up. I mean, she gets some other poses. There's not a lot of uh, foot. Uh, <laughs> foot area on the base so you've kind of I'm glad I blue tacked the figures to the shelf um, so that definitely aids aids it but the, the legs are quite thin um, and yeah not a lot of foot space so it's it's really hard to stand this figure up I had a leg sort of askew last night and with a she like she was doing a stepping pose um, with one hand in the air as if she was doing the you know the, the rebellion um, bit from the movie but yeah I just had too much trouble standing her up so I just had to do it like this and I've just sort of left it like this while I do the review anyway so I don't have to hold it the whole time. But uh, yeah, I'm, L3's growing on me the more I watch the movie. Um, I still think maybe creatively I think they probably pushed it a little bit too far. She doesn't seem quite as droidy as others. Um, maybe a little bit too humanoid. I don't know. That's just me. Um, but yeah, she's certainly growing on me. She's got some really funny moments. Um, specifically the bit where she's cutting the fence. I think that's hilarious. Um, the chat she has with Kira. And I think she's a cool character. It's just not my favourite droid. Um, but that's okay. I think she was done really, really well. Um, yeah, I think they just... The actress did a great job. Um, Phoebe Waller-Bridge. She did a really good job. And the suit they had her in with the extra droid parts. I think they could have just... Um, they made the droid walk and moves too, too humanly, I guess is the, what I'm trying to say. Um, because I think she just didn't quite come across as, as droidy enough. I mean, she looks at it, she looks really cool. But um, yeah, onto the figure anyway. Look at her head. Some really great detail with the uh, all the wires and stuff hanging around up in the neck there as well. Try and get some better light. There we go. Yeah, she's definitely pieced together out of other droids. You can see like the arms to the astromech up there. Some other sort of astromechy looking parts for the legs. All sorts of wires going through the middle there, down through the legs. Hasbro have done a pretty good job of uh, getting this one together, considering the design. So, yeah, it wouldn't have been an easy one. There's a lot of fiddly little bits that would have had to be sculpted, all these sort of wires in the back here. The interior of the arms, as you can see in there, and in there. But yeah, like I said, she looks pretty good. Having the figure in hand may make me appreciate the character a little more next time I watch the movie. I did just get the three and three quarter inch one as well today. So I'm all stocked up on L3 now. <laughs> it's a pretty good figure. She does have a bit of movement in the head there. Obviously the swivel with the neck. It's sort of a bit of a bit of a ball and socket in the shoulder, but there's also a uh, hinge hinge there as well. It's got that sort of swivel elbow there, much like the IG88 figure does. And then joint, like a pivot joint there as well. 
hands have got the double joint, there's that sort of upper torso joint. And the same as a sort of a ball on socket to allow the thighs to move. Single knee joint. And then a single ankle joint, which is... Yeah, I guess they couldn't really do any more with that, could they? Um, I'm not going to complain about it because, you know, it's true to the design. And, uh, yeah, there's nothing like, nothing else they could have done about that. They've made it accurate and she looks pretty cool. Definitely, definitely happy to have her on my shelf with my other solo solo figures. Now I'm going to have trouble getting in a stand again. No, I'm just going to hold her. <laughs> anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed this review. I hope you've had a good look at this. Um, some good weathering over the figure too, I might just add. Especially around the front, the chest there looks good. There's some weathering sort of all over it. She definitely looks like she's been hobbled together out of other bits and pieces. So yeah, like I said, thank you very much for watching. I have the Imperial Patrol Trooper coming up next, so stay tuned for that. Until then, may the force be with you.